What's going on my fellow producers, I'm Young Carts. In my last video, I showed you guys how to make a chord progression from a melody in FL Studio. Today, we are going to be doing the reverse method of that. We are going to be making a melody from a chord progression in FL Studio. Before we get into today's video, I would like you guys to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. If you're interested in my Halo Loop Kit, it is down below in the description all for $14.99 and it has lots of crazy royalty free loops that you may use for any beat that you may want to make. All right, so let's get into today's video. All right, so this tutorial video is going to be a lot like my other tutorial video uh, where I taught you guys how to make chord progressions from a melody. Um, a lot of the things I'm gonna be showing you in this video are gonna be very similar to that. Um, so yeah, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get out a piano of our choice we can use Keyscape, FL Keys, uh, a Nexus Grand Piano, whatever you want to use, okay? I'm going to use FL Keys in this case, and I'm going to use the Grand Piano preset. Go into your Piano Roll, go into Piano Roll Options, go to Helper Scale Highlighting. Now we're going to choose either the Major Scale or the Minor Scale. The Major Scale is great for making happy, uplifting type of beats. The Minor Scale is great for making sad, dark, eerie type of beats. So I'm going to use the Minor Scale. The root note is going to be your most bottom note of your melody or your chord progression uh, and generally your bass line will follow the root note it doesn't always have to but generally it will all right so my root note is c my scale is minor so that means we're going for a c minor scale the c minor scale consists of all of these highlighted notes all right so those are those are all of the highlighted notes for this scale so now what we can do is we can start by creating our chord progressions and we start that by creating root notes. So I'm going to go ahead and you know there's also a really cool uh, trick you can do as well to get started with your root notes. You don't always have to start on the root note C. You can actually start five or six notes up in your uh, scale to get you know your root notes going and then you could lead down to your c note so you don't have to start with your c note but if you lead down to it by the end of your chord progression it will actually sound pretty cool so um so you do this trick by going one two three four five six all right you go to your sixth highlighted ghost note click it and now we have our first root note okay for root notes, I generally like to play them out for each bar, so then I can kind of get a feel for what I want to go for. So let's start off with this. Notice how I lead, I, I led the notes down to the C note, all right? So you don't have to start with C, but if you lead down or you lead up to C, it can still sound pretty good. All right, so now we'll hit control, move my mouse to the right. We'll skip every other note, okay? So we skipped the A sharp here, we went to C6. Hold shift, do it again. We're gonna skip D6, go to D sharp, all right? So we're skipping every other note in the scale, all right? Now we need to check and make sure that there are no notes that are out of scale, okay? So this chord looks good, this chord doesn't. Why? Because this B is off the scale. So we can go ahead and move that down. And that leads really nicely into the next chord. Um, and then we got this chord here, which we need to fix. And we can go ahead and move that down like that. All right. So now we have four triad chords here. And this is what it sounds like. To spice things up, you can go ahead and use the slicer tool right here, and you can you can actually you know give your chord progression some rhythm to it instead of just having it play out. You know what I mean? So I could split this up. So you can see the slice tool can help you give you some rhythm in your chord progression. Um, Another thing you can do is you can move notes up and down. So like this C note, I can move this up one. All 
So that didn't sound too good. Um, we could uh, move, what's another good note we can move? We can move this note up right there. Yeah, I don't know, I don't like that either, but yeah. You can, you can kind of just play around with your chord progressions and move different notes up and down. Uh, like t generally the middle note is what you would want to play with. Um, let me see, I, I wanna find a good one though. So, okay, I like the way that D sharp sounds, but I can kind of fill it in by placing the D sharp back here and then leaving it that, like that. Okay, I like that. So you can kind of just play around with your uh, middle uh, notes and just kind of shift things up an octave, down an octave, and you can kind of get a different feel for your chord progression. Another thing you can do is you can actually go ahead and take your root notes just like this, all right? Select your root notes, hold shift, move your mouse to the right, move it back to its original position, hold control, press the down arrow, and now your chord progression has a bass line. Pretty cool. So now we got a pretty good chord progression going. Now we can go ahead and make a melody off of this chord progression. When making a melody from your chord progression, you would you generally want to use the notes that you've already used in your chord progression. So you can see I've used G sharp, I've used C6, I've used D sharp, I've used all of these notes. All right. So I could start my melody off with C if I want to. All right. And then maybe I can off maybe I can make an offsetting note. So I can offset it to a D sharp. And then maybe I can go to a G sharp. All right, now I can just Go ahead and copy this over if I want to. And then what we can do is we can fill in some notes here down at the bottom to kind of give our bass line more rhythm as well. So we could do, I don't know, an offsetting D sharp here. Maybe an offsetting D sharp here. Let's try C. So now we get now we gave our root notes, bass line notes more rhythm just by adding some simple notes down here at the bottom. Okay, so another thing we can do is we can have our chords lead into each other a little bit better by creating something that's known as a transition note. So let's see. So maybe we could do something like this. I could do it over here if I want to. Generally, I don't want to do it too much because then it gets a little too intrusive. Yeah, it's getting a little too intrusive. So I figured out 
So that seems like a good place for it. So you can see we added some transition notes for the chords. And now we can go ahead and hit control A, control B, and everything is now moved over to the ninth bar. So from here, we could actually add some variety over on this second half now, just to kind of give our overall chord progression and our overall melody a different feel so it doesn't sound too repetitive. Um, so you can do that by switching up these top notes here or even by adding more notes above that. So that's generally what I like to do. Uh, so let's see. Let's go with... Maybe we can add this C note here. Okay, so now we added a tiny bit more variety to our uh, chord progression and our melody. So now it doesn't sound too repetitive. All right, so let me show you what the overall product sounds like. All right, so before I head out, I'm gonna show you guys what you can do with that chord progression and melody now. You can go ahead and open up an external VST of your choice like Omnisphere, Nexus, Electra, and you can add some spice to that, you know, chord progression and melody that you've just created. So for example, I just chose the bust down rolly sound from Casey Supreme's Influx Omnisphere Bank, and this is now what the melody and chord progression sounds like. And there you go, now you have a really awesome sounding chord progression and a very awesome sounding melody to go along with it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make a melody from a chord progression in FL Studio. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, be sure to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Also, if you're interested in getting my Halo Loop Kit, you can cop that down below in the description, all for $14.99. All I have to say now is, thank you guys for watching today's video, and I will see you in the next one.